सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड यू आर वॉचिंग कोमल टाया सो गाइज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक वन एग्जाम्पल वेर लाइक सेकेंड ऑर्ट ऑफ पर्टोपेशन फर्स्ट ऑर्ट ऑफ पर्टोपेशन एंड द स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट वाइज क्वेश्चन विल बी देर बेस्ड ऑन दीज टू कॉन्सेप्ट एंड वट एल्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई डिस्कस द स्टेटमेंट वाइज क्वेश्चन विच हैज अ टेंडेंसी टू कम अप अगेन एंड अगेन इन द एग्जाम सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ लिटल बिट सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन राइट सो दैट केम इन जून सी एस एन नेट एग्जाम राइट सो लेट सी वट दैट क्वेश्चन लुक्स लाइक एंड Uh, how we can solve that question right so just pay attention over the screen so uh, this is the question question number 8 right so this uh, eighth question what are what is given in this question this is following our three statements right so first uh, first statement is second order perturbation to ground state energy is always negative this is the first statement and b part sum of zeroth order energy and first order correction to the ground state energy is greater than the exact ground state energy okay this is the second statement and the third statement is sum of zeroth order and first order correction to ground state energy is less than the exact energy right so now how will we solve the question so let's go down to the first statement so first statement is we need to tell whether this uh, and these are the option that a part is true or ab part is true or only c is true or b c is true right right so what we'll do we'll take this part first a which is second order perturbation to ground state energy is always negative so although i have already discussed this thing in uh, one of the video last video one to two videos right so you all most of you must be knowing this question but i'll be discussing it here in more details because guys wait let me just take one blank screen so you will be able to understand it more so let's just uh, let me just tell you here so according to it it is given that the second order correction Uh, to the ground state it is always negative it is given in the question right so yeah so what we'll do uh, basically i have told this in the earlier video also but here i'll tell in the shortcut right so to just revise it up so the formula for second order correction in the ground state energy suppose particle in 1d box is there right particle in 1d box is there and uh, you need to find second order energy correction to the ground state so state you always write over here and order will be second order and you know how to write it it would be this is the basic formula people who are new to this video please go back and see all the videos of second order perturbation so everything will be clear to you i have discussed previous questions and the theory so no doubt will be there so just go there and just see first and then come back to this lecture so it will be like this formula divided by whatever is there first so i'll write over here and even minus e2 plus what i'll write again psi 3 i'll take every possible fair 1 with 2 1 with 3 1 with 4 and so on right so 1 2 i have taken so now i'll take 1 3 because 1 2 i have taken now i'll take 1 3 so 1 3 will be psi 3 del h and psi 1 and it would be square divided by and whatever is given over here i'll just put it here even minus e3 and it will go on clear so the question is whether this this value it is it comes out positive or it comes out negative it is given right so uh, you need to tell whether this statement is true or false so first of all guys tell me suppose if i take only one this example so everywhere the same formula is repeating fine so let's take only this this case right so what will happen now this whole entity numerator it is in square right it is in square so what will happen so it's in square so i'll put it like this negative i'll put it like it is uh, sorry it is in square so uh, it will be positive right so it will always be positive because square will always be positive if you take minus 2 square it will be plus 4 if you take minus 3 square it will always be plus 9 this is for bio people right so the entity the square will always be positive divided by even minus e2 you can see over here in ground state what will happen it is even minus e2 that means so like we should know like if we need to find out whether it is positive or negative 
so for that we should be knowing that whether e1 is greater than e2 or e1 is less than e2 so guys this is very uh, basic concept that energy order it increases always like this e1 it goes on increasing with quantum number like that tell me this is the case so obviously e2 will be greater than e1 e2 will be greater than e1 and e3 will be greater than e2 and e3 will be greater than e1 obviously fine so what will happen now e2 is greater than e1 so this entity it is greater than e1 so what will happen suppose e1 is 2 and e2 is 4 e2 is 4 so what will happen so if i'll subtract e1 minus e2 it would be 2 minus 4 and it would be minus 2 so whatever entity so e2 this this entity is larger and so this will be larger so answer will come in negative because you are subtracting larger quantity from smaller quantity so what will happen answer will come in negative so this will be negative fine and same with here it will also come positive by negative would be negative and it will also come negative and every everything will come negative and overall answer will be negative so this is the conclusion that second order correction second order correction to the ground state will always be negative please 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 pay attention to this this is true it's only in ground state don't get confused one of the student got confused it's in ground state only fine so okay this uh, this one is true right so guys now let's uh, discuss we have already discussed a part so now we'll discuss b part whether the statement is true or not clear so b part says that it is sum of zeroth order zeroth order i told you it is original value fine so the sum of original value and first order correction to the ground state energy is greater than the exact ground state energy so first of all let me tell you that the same same statement wise question this question i discussed in the very last video if you remember december 2011 question this is the same that it is original value and this is a uh, first order correction value and this is exact value fine so this case i discussed in the last video where i ma made a detailed video so people who are new here so ju just go and see that lecture because now i'll be taking it in very brief so you'll all you'll not be getting it fine so people who are following me religiously since the very start so, uh, they only they only will be knowing it very well so let me just tell it in overall like in very uh, brief manner that what will happen so it is sa said that sum of zeroth order so zeroth order means this one order zero means this fine and ground state energy ground state if i take ground state and first order correction you know order always comes here in superscript and you you need to tell that it is greater than exact ground state energy so it is exact energy fine so you need to tell whether this statement is true or not so guys this question i discussed it is said that it is greater than exact ground state energy and people who are already knowing it they also will be committing mistake so please pause the video and just tell me what is the answer it is true or false okay so according to the last video people who have seen my last video they'll be telling that it is false because in the last video i told that it is uh, original plus first order correction this one original plus first order correction it will be greater than or equal to exact energy fine greater than or equal to exact energy like in this case like in the in this case fine in in this case where i discussed so uh, greater than or equal to so here only greater than is given here only greater than is given so what will you say that whether it is true or false you will say it is false because it is greater than equal to it it should be greater than equal to not only greater so people you are going it uh, going wrong there please focus over here what examiner is trying to say that when i discuss this statement when i discuss this statement that it is greater than equal to exact energy fine people who are not getting it please go back and see the lecture you will get the answer that why um, why this uh, this original plus first order correction this is greater than equal to exact energy fine so what you'll do uh, so what you'll do that now only in question this is given that this 
plus this E01 and E0 is greater than this exact energy. Fine. So, you need to tell whether it is true or false. So, you will be telling that it is false. But it is true guys. Because the condition is that either it is greater or is it is equal. So, if someone is saying that the sum of original plus first order correction is greater than exact energy, that can also be true. And if someone is saying that sum of original plus first order correction is equal to exact energy, that can also be true. Fine. But if someone is saying that sum of original plus first order, order correction is always greater than exact energy, then it is false. It cannot be always. Always will be, always will be wrong to say. If someone is saying is greater than, okay, that is one of the possibility. Because it can be either greater or it can be equal. Fine. You can see over here, always is not written. If, suppose if always was there, then this statement would have been false. Fine. But now if always is not there, this statement is true. Because that happens. Sum of original plus first order correction is greater than exact energy. Right? Exact ground state energy. So that happens. Clear? So this is the case. So now what you will say that this, this is the true. Fine. This is true statement. First is true statement. So now I hope this thing is clear to you guys. I will be telling it in brief for people who are new. Because what happens guys, this original value, this original value, uh, this is the original value and this first order correction can be either positive or zero. Fine. Because we always, uh, we always find it in terms of either the solution. When we solve this first order correction, the solution always comes down only in terms of average value form or this probability form and they both are positive or zero they are never negative fine they are positive or zero so it can be positive or zero so obviously this entity will be greater suppose if it is zero so this original value will be equal to exact value but if this value is positive so it will be added added up to the original value and this entity will be bigger and this will be greater than the exact energy fine so uh, this is a uh, brief uh, idea about this thing if you want to see the further thing why this is so and how it comes down to that average value or probability i discussed it in the earlier video so just go there and see that so now the third part is the sum of the zero thought order energy and first order correction to ground state energy is less than exact energy so it is saying that original value okay plus first order correction is less than exact energy so which is completely wrong because it is always greater than that because in this part only it is always greater like not always greater i'm saying that it is either greater or uh, equal to fine so it is greater or equal to and if someone someone is saying it is greater than exact that is true if someone is saying it is equal to exact that is true but if someone is saying that uh, this original value plus first order correction is always greater than exact value false if someone is saying original value plus first order correction is always equal to exact then it is also false because it can be either positive or equal to exact value clear so this is the case so this statement is false so this statement is true true and false so what statements are true a and b are true so this answer would be a and b so on second is the true answer and you will be able to get four marks fine so i hope this question is clear to you and uh, so this is the official end of second order perturbation right so i finally finished second order perturbation i'm like with a very happy note i'm just ending it so one more thing i want to give you one question as homework right right so you just comment down your queries or uh, comment down your answer over there i just want to check whether you are able to solve the question or not because the similar type of question came in uh december to uh, in 2011 exam fine so this is the question this is the 15th question so you just read it so it is similar type of question which i discussed so unperturbed energy levels are given second order correction to energy for the ground state in presence of perturbation this so delta h values are given guys and you need to find second order correction to the 
ground state i hope you'll be able to get it and because a similar type of question i discussed in one of the earlier videos i can show you over here yeah it must be over here yeah it is the question you can see it came in december uh, 2000 no no this is not the question it is this one yeah it came in 2011 i told you it came in 2011 so this is the question you can see over here so you just uh, you i just discussed this in one of the video this is the solution fine this is the solution and now uh, what you can do you just solve this question i'm just going there again and uh, yeah so this is the question solve it if you people are able to solve it i'll be very happy to do that and uh, i'll be uh, like uh, after some time i'll be just uh, telling the answer what will be the correct answer or should i tell just now i'll be telling in the comment section just do this thing and i'll be typing in the comment section that what will be the correct answer so you just solve it and tell me and i'll be very happy if you solve this question so next time i'm going to come up with new topic it's most probably it is variational principle and you know that is very important topic so just be with me and uh, we'll be able to solve the quantum very soon and uh, that's it for this one i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye take care bye